What up YouTube? Today we are going to be reviewing the Nike LeBron James uh, so the Nike LeBron 11 Low uh, I think the colorway is Black Gum Hyper Crimson Hyper Cobalt So yeah, LeBron 11 Low, Black Gum is really what I would call them The Hyper Crimson Hyper Cobalt is the, the lining of the shoe um, I'm not really going to say I'm a fan of basketball so I'm from the UK, basketball's not that big over here. So I know who LeBron James is, but I don't think I've ever watched the guy play a game of basketball. But it's a nice sneaker. Uh, the black sneaker with a gum sole bottom, you can't really go wrong with that. That's one of my favorites. That's probably why I bought the shoes, because of the gum sole um, and the nice black. I think this is, uh, I don't know what they call this, Hyperfuse fabric with a fly wire. Uh, lacing system so there's a wire that runs all through the sneaker with the wiring underneath the shoe gives it extra structure um, you got a hard plastic liner that goes around the whole back of the shoe very sturdy um, it has a complete sole air unit it's black so I don't know if the camera is going to pick it up but like an Air Max 97, very similar, but the whole sole is a Max Air unit, all the way around, no gaps, only just closes up at the tongue for the for the, for the lip of the shoe. Um, the Hyper Cobalt, Hyper Crimson is the, the lining of the shoe, it's freaky mad colorways that's going on inside the shoe. I like it, uh, and when you wear the shoe, it, it, it only subtly comes over so you can't notice it too much when you're wearing the shoe but you see little hints of it that give it a bit of color I like that um, they are different though uh, this one you can see is a bit more blue uh, and this one is a bit more orangey so they're slightly different they're not an identical print um, but that's not a big issue you've got a swoosh here on the if you call it the mid, the upper of the shoe or going into the toe box it's got a bit of a print to it I don't know if you call that a zebra print or something where it's black and um, well, it's, a, it's a shiny black and a matte black which creates the, the print and then you have a another swoosh in the inside ankle if you're picking it up with the light and a shiny black swoosh there so yeah you got the King James logo on the tongue LJ with a crown, uh, pull tab on the tongue. Don't think you'd use that though. And the tongue is connected to the shoe, same way you would with a it's black. So I don't know if it's going to come on the camera, or maybe like an Air Max 95, where you get this fabric that connects the tongue to the, the base of the shoe. I have worn them, so it's disappeared a bit. But you have LeBron on the insole both shoes um, the sole of the shoe is different as in like normally these this logo would be mirrored on the other side but it's not so it's the same on both shoes which is a bit weird normally if this one goes this way the other one would go that way but yeah it's kept the same uprightness of the logo on both shoes I think uh, if you put them together I think this here is a basketball I don't know if I'm just seeing that but I think it's supposed to be a basketball um, good traction on the shoe I like them very comfortable shoe with that solid air unit uh, it's my first pair of LeBron's um, I might be picking up the wheat 12s that are coming out this weekend they look good to me but this is my first pair of LeBron's the 11's low tops um, I think in the UK LeBron's are not really that popular because we're not really a big basketball nation so we like Jordan's because obviously they're Michael Jordan's so everyone likes Jordan's they've got the Jordan hype to them but I think LeBron's he's not too popular I like the sneakers but they send, they tend to sit in the shops they don't really sell out I mean I bought these on the time that they dropped and I think a week later they were still sitting there full size runs 
which in a way is good because I think this is a really nice looking sneaker. Uh, it looks good with jeans, some dark denim or some black denim. It goes good with shorts because you get the little uh, colorways coming through. It's a very comfortable shoe. It's padded, even like all the inside of it is thick still, all the way down to the toe box. It's, it's padded inside this toe box. So it's very comfortable. Um, yeah. LeBron 11 Low, Black Gum, Hyper Cobalt, Hyper Crimson. Definitely a good shoe. Uh, I will probably buy more LeBrons. I think the quality on this is probably better than some of the Jordan releases. Because you've got more technical specs in the shoe. Like the Jordans are a retro fashion shoe, really. I know they're basketball shoes, but they're more fashion. Where this, you've got the Hyper Fuse, you've got some plastic support in, you've got the fly wire that's in the shoe. Yeah, it's a lightweight shoe. It's very good. Uh, yeah. That's it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. Uh, comment on the video, let me know what you liked and if you gave it a thumbs down, what you didn't like. Uh, if you want to follow me on Twitter and Instagram, it's Chris underscore S underscore Ramos. Links will be in the description. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see some more videos. Uh, share this video, I'd appreciate it. Uh, let me know what you want to see. Uh, this is a shoe from my collection because at the moment there isn't much out that I'm looking at picking up. So I'm just going through a few sneakers that are already in my collection and reviewing those so I can sort of get some review videos under my belt. I'm still new to the reviewing, sneaker reviewing. So yeah, let me know if you want to see more stuff like on foot or uh, shots of the video of the, of the shoe in outside or something. I don't know. Just the moment, it's just my living room table. So yeah, let me know what you think. But either way, it's a good shoe. Cool.